Hi guys here, Tom here with a new haircut. You like it? I love it. Yeah, I'm in my mid-50s now, getting a little thin. Either gonna do it or don't, so I did it. Um, my, my soul is cleansed, I'm free. <laughs> hit that little bell, hit subscribe. We've got so much great stuff for you coming up. We've got some seminars coming up, we've got some more classes coming up, so stay connected with us and you won't regret it. Today we're going to talk about Chiburi and the combative aspects of it. Now there are other uh, concepts that are important with Chiburi. Um, as the stories go, you, you flick the blood, the blood to get the blood flicked off your blade. Um, it also means to cleanse your soul and your conscience. Well today we're just going to focus on the martial applications, the strategies, why you're performing Chiburi and how it can set you up for either a good or a bad noto. Now watch. <laughs> So when performing chiburi, we'll do a simple one, a flick chiburi, okay, yoko chiburi, an Asian root chiburi. What a lot of folks don't or may not understand is that it's not just a simple arm movement to the right with your right arm to do this. Because what happens is if you watch, and I'm going to keep the sword up in this fashion for the, for the lesson because if I go the proper way, you may not be able to see the sword that well against the background, okay, so I'm going to keep it like this. So if you just use your arm, you're going to notice what happens to the blade, and I'll do it slow. It tends to retract a little bit because your arms go around your body, just like when we walk. Well, that's giving up distance. That's giving up time, and that's not what we do in the Aijutsu. So what we want to do is engage it more. How do we do that? We use our whole body to do the chiburi, not just the arm. We engage our right hip, pull back the left hip just a little bit, and see the difference? We did not pull back our sword. We did not give up distance and time. In fact, we may have gotten a little bit more. You have to remember, sword is a game of millimeters and milliseconds. So rather than just this, this. See the difference? So also, by doing this properly, you're setting yourself up for a good noto here because your whole body is engaged and you have a little bit of tension here focused on your foreign enemy. I'm already in a good position to do what I talked about in the last lesson, which was get the business end of this sword in a good spot in case I need to use it. Okay? If I just do a, a chiburi with just my right arm, I've already kind of relaxed here, and that's how I feel when I do that. And that's probably the worst time to relax is when you're getting ready to put your sword away. And you're not going to have that good of a noto, because if you notice, my hands have already kind of settled in somewhere, as opposed to being engaged throughout the entire waza. So what's the lesson here? Don't separate body parts from your center. Even when you're doing a very simple movement like a flick to birdie, which is not a difficult movement to do, but you can make it difficult for yourself when you get a little sloppy by just using the right arm. Use your whole body. Provides good tension, good concentration, and good EI. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.